my youngest daughter's, I guess I'll call it her reference binder. This would be also something really good if you do not have a dedicated homeschool space and you don't have room to put posters and things on the wall, or maybe you just don't want to put posters on the wall or things that are easily accessible, like visibly. This is a good way to do that because your child has everything in one small area that they need that they're going to reference often. This is probably something that would be ever evolving, constantly changing as the child grows. And I think that's the way that it should be. But right now, this is the way that I have it. And I think it's a pretty much hitting all of the things that she needs to have her at her fingertips for reference. So an example of not having a map on the wall, which we used to, we had different maps on the wall, which were pretty and everything, but when I decided to kind of minimize the homeschool stuff in our homeschool room, and I'll, I'll link the video for that below, when I redid our, my office slash homeschool room, I really, I took down all the posters and tried to really integrate the look of this room with the other rooms in the house. And so part of the way, one of the ways that I did that was to take down all the posters but I still wanted her to have access to a map. So this one I purchased on Amazon. It's got the United States on one side and the world map on the other. So it's laminated already. It had holes in it already. So she can access this whenever she needs. This is something I actually pulled out of the back of an old workbook. I think pretty much everything in this is already in the book, but I haven't checked that yet. I just grabbed it and stuck it in there so I wouldn't lose it. So that's why that's there. Now, most of this other stuff I got on Teachers Pay Teachers. They are really neat resources that hit pretty much all of the topics. So in this case, it's language art. So you've got parts of speech, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, pronouns, and prepositions. And on the back, there is a section for types of sentences, the, the punctuation that you would use in those types of sentences, and then an example sentence, types of writing. So this is really nice if you're doing a writing assignment, you can look at the different types of writing. And then figurative language, so alliteration, hyperbole, idiom, imagery, all of that is right there. And then this was really neat, I thought, common root words. So the root word anti means against, and then it gives an example. I thought that was really neat. Also common misspellings, it's and it's, of course the famous there, there, and there. So all of those are right there for you. Some commonly misspelled words, prefixes, and suffixes. And then the six traits of writing, author's purpose, and a plot diagram. So that all came with one download that I got from Teachers Pay Teachers. It was just a few dollars. Then I found this um, on the BJU Press website because we use BJU Press for writing. And there was a poster we had at one point that was the writing process. But again, I wanted to make it small and more accessible to her without being hanging, you know, without hanging it on the wall. So I went ahead and found this online and printed it out. And then how to spell plural nouns. Again, this is just something I found online. And that was all for language arts. So then we get to the math section. So same creator on Teachers Pay Teachers also makes a math reference. So the greater than less than signs, you have a multiplication chart, symbols for addition, and then some words. So like addition could also mean sum, subtraction could mean difference, place value, fraction, decimal, and percent, order of operations, fraction equivalence, which I thought was really neat. Over here, you've got different shapes and the shapes in that family, formulas, 3D shapes, and rounding. And then you have measurements. So length, capacity, weight, uh, you've got it in customary measures and in metric, time, equivalence, and liquids, uh, abbreviation, so meter, milligram, ounce, things like that. So pretty much anything you can think of they would need for a math reference, no matter what math curriculum they're using, this is gonna be useful to pretty much everybody. They even have a sample check in here and Roman numerals. And then on the back, I found this online. We had used this last year when she was doing uh, gallons and quarts and pints and all that stuff, and it had gotten all torn up. So I printed a fresh one, put it in a page protector, and put it here in the back. I realize there is that section over here, but I feel like this does a really good job of kind of breaking it down and showing how each thing fits into the other. And she's used this before, so I, I thought she would appreciate having that in there. So that is what we have in her homeschool reference binder so far. Like I said, obviously you can pick and choose what you want to be in your child's reference binder. You can change it as the time goes on. Uh, but I really think it's a good resource to have and something I think will be really useful to her during the school homeschool year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link the Teacher Pay Teacher store that I got this from and I will also try to remember to link this map. Um, and obviously there's so many free resources online. You don't have to 
pay for anything, but it was quicker just to go ahead and, and print or purchase that because they had pretty much everything I needed. But definitely feel free to scour the internet and find all of the free worksheets that you can and really make this your own for you and for your kid. Uh, but I hope this gave you an idea of kind of a, a thing that you can try that may be a great help to your kids in the homeschool year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my homeschooling playlist in the description box. Every homeschool video I've made is in that playlist, so you'll wanna check that out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <music>